Well, it's not just the Canadian coffee shops that are making changes. Here at City News, we received numerous emails and messages from people who work in the retail, uh, grocery, and customer service industry. Some of them say they have also seen cuts to their hours and their benefits uh, since the minimum wage increase. Now, one employment relations expert says these kinds of changes aren't anything new. This issue is simply magnifying the reality for low-wage workers in this province. It's happening all the time. It was happening before the minimum wage was brought in, and it's happening now while it's being implemented. People are associating with the minimum wage increase, but I bet if you would have had six months ago an open forum call for people to tell you their stories about how employers have done something on scheduling or they've done something arbitrary on benefits that they used to get, again, in this non-unionized private sector, largely service sector space, you would have heard the same stories. Um, the question is, are we hearing more of them because of the minimum wage or not? That you have to wait. You can't sort of decide on um, call-in shows that it's happening because of the minimum wage has come in. You need data to be gathered. You need to look back six months from now on the data that's accumulated. Gomez admits that employers were given a somewhat short turnaround time from the province to prepare for the wage increases. He says more time might have given companies an opportunity to be more strategic. So using the minimum wage as the scapegoat, so to speak, backfired on these employers. And again, I would go back if they just consulted or if they'd had time not to do the first thing that came into their minds as a response to the wage, but they'd had to negotiate some change with their employees, they actually might have made better decisions, ones that wouldn't have cost them the bad will that consumers seem to be giving a lot of these companies, and just the bad press and the hit on their brand that these things are hard to undo sometimes. Now, coming up, we'll tell you why Gomez believes that it may, the uh, minimum wage increase may not be the only reason that some companies are cutting back. Well, we've been hearing about protests across the province in front of Tim Hortons uh, in light of changes to employee paid breaks and uh, some cuts to employee benefits after the minimum wage increase. Now, here at City News, we've been getting some messages and emails from people who work in other uh, businesses, in retail, customer service, uh, and they say that they also are dealing with um, hours being cut, going from full time to part time. Now, one uh, employment relations expert warned against putting the full blame on minimum wage. We have to be cautious of attributing that solely to the minimum wage. Remember, this came in on January. We all know that after Christmas and the holidays, people scale back their purchases, their consumption. Businesses have always reduced headcount and hours of work after the new year. This is a traditional event. What we have to look at is six months from now, compare this year to last year, this January to January 2017, to see if the minimum wage has had an added effect that has accelerated this sort of drive to more part-time hours. Either way, Gomez says employers need to consider the long-term impacts of trying to cut costs by cutting employee hours. He says in the long run, they may lose out loyal and harder working valuable employees. I think these accounting costs, ways of looking at it, if I have two part-time workers, it's cheaper than one full-time or whatever, or if I reduce hours, I'll get these immediate benefits. You'll get immediate benefits on your wage bill, but what about customer service? What about innovation? What about competing in an economy that's seemingly getting more competitive? Now, meanwhile, as we've been hearing, uh, employees who are protesting uh, the changes at some of those Tim Hortons locations are calling on the parent company to issue a directive to those uh, franchisees uh, to, to end those cuts to paid breaks and benefits.